Mike from Mikey's Board here at Sierra Cleaning Systems in Sparks or Reno, Nevada. Correct. With Chris Hagen. Hi. Uh, Mikey Boarders know Chris as Pack Fan. CJH. CJH. Chris been on the board for geez, a couple of years now. More than a couple, long time. <laughs> Anyways, having recently moved to the area, I thought I'd come up north here and visit Chris and check out his uh, his nice little shop here. It is a Interlink Supply Division. Co-op, yeah. Co-op. Come on in. So we got a nice little shop here full of all kinds of goodies. He's got a re uh, repair bay out back. And I thought we'd walk through and see all that he has to offer. Um, you got a little bit of a monopoly here in town. I mean, it's just you and uh, Magic Wand, correct? Pretty much, yeah. A couple Jansan supply houses, but most of the Jansan guys still come for us, come to us for the uh -huh. power cleaning supplies. So you're, you were telling me earlier your client base ranges all the way south, to, far south is Bishop, which is way down the 395 corridor. Bishop all the way up to Alturas, Redding, as far east as Wendover. And That's still Nevada? Yeah, border okay. of Nevada, Utah, and then over to Truckee, Tahoe, that entire area. And then into the Sacramento area, which is hard to believe because there's just sort of a large mountain range in between. Yes. <laughs> So you got the two best-selling fans here, right? The, the new mini fan. Hot sellers. Yeah. Um, I imagine these are hot sellers too, right? A little pocket, uh, the almost larger pocket. Larger ones sell very well. The larger one, meaning this one. Yes. More battery power or more and more Just output. Higher power all around. Uh huh. And then with all the freeze thaw we got around here, I imagine you do quite a decent amount of water damage sales, right? That shelf yep. was full of moisture meters as of this morning. <laughs> really? Coit came in and bought every single one of them. Coit came in. How big is the Coit franchise in town? Oh, in town, I think they have nine or ten vans. Nine or ten. Who else? You got Stanley Steamer. Stanley Steamers, two different serve pros, plus one in South Lake, Rainbow, Belfour. Holy we man. got all the big players in restaurants. And then uh, what about the, the Miracle Water guys? Um, Zero Res. Zero Res, I don't believe is here anymore. And then we had a Heaven's Best, but he closed up. And, and then the, the mom and pops, right? And then the mom and pops. Yeah. Evergreen's the largest franchise in town. Well, he's not necessarily a franchise, but largest company in town. He has about 13, 14 vans right now. Evergreen. Yes. They're the big players in town. And he's uh, carpet and tile and whatnot. Carpet, tile, restoration. They have a rug plant now. Uh. Kind of the whole works. They offer a little bit of everything. It's such a, and will he send all those trucks out of the, the same office, or does he have techs all that the keep same office. the techs don't take the trucks yeah. home? This is a big area to cover. A lot of yeah. driving, a lot of mountains. Yeah. He covers all basically the entire area. Tahoe down to Minden, all the way up to... I've heard them going up to Susanville. Susanville? Yeah. Wow. They go quite a ways as long as there's money there. <laughs> yeah, no, that's the game, huh? So. I noticed you guys do something a little different in that you separate your chemical choices by the brand Correct. versus their their use. Yes. I don't know if I've seen that before. We keep What's each the reason? brand in your pre-sprays, emulsifiers, deodorizers, stuff like that, uh -huh. just so it's easier for our customers to locate. They tend to congregate two brands, uh -huh. not necessarily um, types, types of chemicals. Yeah. yeah, I kind of uh, like it I, that I have way. a lot of followers of Pro's Choice. Obviously, you can see we have a large selection of Bridgepoint products. Uh -huh. um, they usually just flock by manufacturer for some reason. Viper's an uh, interlink product, though, yes. right? But it's their stone line? Yeah, we kind of keep the stone over here and then uh -huh. all the other products around. Yeah, you got and a good selection of Stone Pro. And we've we've tried it a couple different ways, and we just came back to this one because it was the easiest for our customers to locate everything. So, but we try to offer as much as we can to make our customers happy. Yeah. So. Um, so when somebody places an order on Interlink.com and it gets shipped out of here, are you pulling off the shelf or you got a back room with cases if set aside? If you order on InterlinkSupply.com, it actually ships from Interlink's warehouse, and we get a credit of that sale. So uh, it somebody calls you. Come from us. If they calls, call okay. us, we pull from the back, box it up, ship it out UPS, and they'll have it within usually a day or two. But if you go online to InterlinkSupply.com, it ships from their warehouse direct to you. Gotcha. So there's no middleman, anything like that. So you got a little bit of Hydromaster stuff. Static must be an issue around here because that's the only Kim yes, spec product. Very dry. Well, 
We lost our ChemStrip spec distributorship for a little while, but we are now back on oh, as full on yeah. distributors for ChemSpec, Dry East, Sapphire, the whole works. So this will be expanding shortly. Oh, that's, um, that's a recent development, right? Yes. Oh, congratulations. Thank Don Snyder for that one. All right. <laughs> <laughs> he worked very hard to try and get us back on. Oh, that's cool. So, but yeah, we offer ProChem, Pro's Choice, mm -hmm. Interlink, Hydromaster. Do a little like amount said, of repair I stuff. To, I try to please my customers and carry as much as possible to make them happy, so. I've never seen this little leash. Does that come up on top here? Yeah, just, usually okay. on the top, but there's something like that. That's a thick jug. That's a lifelong investment there, huh? Fantastic little drugs. Multi-sprayer. Oh, what's this? Oh, this is the charger, charger cord. cord. Yeah, I've never had a charger. I get so much good life out of the electric ones, I never wanted to bother. Yeah, the charging ones have been the most popular for us, so that's why we stock that one. Yeah. So Hydroforce is now using these. They don't have those green cap ones and anymore? They do, which are in a, on a pallet and back uh, as we speak. Gotcha. Same with the red ones, the ASO ones. So let's talk truck mounts. Yeah, I think you told me recently your best seller was the Pro Chem Peak. You're pointing at it right there. Oh, the Legend. The Legend is by far our best seller. And that is price, feature, value, driven? Kind of the best bang for the buck in my opinion. Around here, most people are going 150, 200 feet max for their hose pulls, so it, it's a very good value for what it's capable of. The Legend's a four or five blower and a what, 25 horse motor or 22 something? And 22 and a half. But at 17.7 with the 100 gallon tank, it's tough to pass up for a lot of that. And the new startups, I have quite a few apartment guys that use them just because uh, of the price point. 150 and feet of hose is just fine. Yeah, 150, 200 feet. Yeah. It'll handle it, no problem. That's a hundred, true 100 gallon tank? Yes. Yeah. I notice they bolted on the. Uh, your vacuum port is that mm -hmm. so you could change out the different sizes or well you can angle it to go to the blower depending oh, on where you mount the truck mount that's a two and a half port right yes. looks like it's yeah. okay yeah that's clever yeah it just gives you the option to angle it a little bit if you have to move the machine a little closer to the left of the tank mm -hmm. you know it all depends on positioning in the van it's a pretty small unit most guys are going side mount right yeah and then you got this big beast over here. That's a Titan 575. Yes. My personal favorite. Your personal favorite. I love this. Machine. Oh yeah, why is that? It's just a good all-around performer. It'll get you 230 all day long, plenty of suction. 230 at 8 flow, 10 flow or 6ish. Mm, 6ish. Six I mean, I've got a monster uh, heat interest. exchanger here. But yeah, it's a 32 horse Kubota motor, 47 blower. Just a good all-around performer. And what's that go for? Uh, 20, 26. 26. Yes. So nine gram more than the Legend. Yes. With the in the tank, right? No other, no other features other than just the the bigger machine tank, Evolution wand, and kit to mount it all down. This is a obviously an inch and a half. I thought the Evolutions were two, or did they have they both? They have both. They have both. Yeah. Huh. What do you sell more of? Actually, the inch and a half is the more popular one. Find most of the cleaners around here running with poses? Yeah. yeah. AW29 is by far our best selling <laughs> <one>. <laughs> Yeah, that's just the way of the industry, huh? The 100, what is it, a $200 wand or so? Uh, 279 279 yeah. yeah. Now, what is, this isn't an AW. It's got no, a, the AW29 <laughs> is on the pallet in back. That's a fancy <laughs> valve on there. The latest bridge point order. <laughs> yeah. Got here about 10 minutes ago, so I didn't put it away yet. AW29, what would you say is the second most popular? Titanium. The ProCam? Yeah. Well, that's a big jump. It is. <laughs> you either go uh, least expensive or most uh, expensive. Well, this is a cool little display here. I've never seen that. I'm, I'm still shocked to uh, see glides on display in stores for so many long, so many uh, years. It was like contraband. It was. It was all, you know. Stop selling. Yeah. You know, a guy like you would have to hide them behind the counter waiting for the Chem Dry uh, They've always Home been Depot. there ever since we moved over here, and I will continue to sell them because they're one of the better investments you can get for your, your uh, carpet cleaning company. Oh, for sure. Did uh, Lisa provide this little cutaway? Yeah, quite a while ago. Yeah, I've never seen that. That's a good idea. Shoot, we had that before I even got here. That was almost 10 years ago. <laughs> and you guys 
your parents bought this store from Jim Ekman? Correct. And Ekman ran it for how long? Shoot, he had it for quite a while. A couple of years, and the previous owner were the Marshes from down in Vegas. Oh, so Jim bought it from an existing guy? I believe so, yes. Okay. And was he running his cleaning company at the same time? That was before I got here, so I'm not 100% sure. Gotcha. And then what about what's your history in the carpet cleaning business? Have you cleaned this first? I Strictly clean retail. part time. I help a couple customers here and there when they need help on the weekends and whatnot. Um, I help used to help my brother periodically when he got really busy. So I've been on the van numerous times. I've had a lot of experience. So your brother still has a operational? Yes. Here in the Reno? Yes. Is it, this is the. Uh, <laughs> is this the PMF? Yes. So that one that Sager's been tooting his horn over, he's got like a, a two-port or a two-jet system. Is that something you can order, or is that something that he modified himself? BMF can pretty much customize almost anything. Right. Like huh. Yeah, they're, like, they're pretty uh, pretty popular. Colorful when it comes to yeah, I'm, designing wands, that's for sure. wands for our customers. Yeah, they're pretty popular when it comes to designing wands, That's for sure. wands for our customers. I've had them they're do pretty it. good at customizing for us. Yeah. What else you got going on? Here? Boy, look at this old Rotovac. Is this a rental or one that's just no, it's still one of my around? Customers trying to get rid of it. Uh, he wants to upgrade to the 360i, so he asked. Yeah. So they said sure. I haven't seen one of those in a while. It's been quite a while for me as well. Yeah. Yeah. Before uh, glides, that's what you know. Guys had to use when when they got sick of pushing a wand. That was <laughs> that was the first relief. Oh yeah. Then you got the good old 15 CX15. How's that moving for you? not too bad yeah it's uh in in its uh <laughs> it's prime limelight i guess you could say it's the best cleaning tool out there but there's it can be uh, challenging to use in certain applications but there are other times where it'll out clean anything else out there you know, we've so. gotten very good responses from it yeah it'll melt grease like nothing else oh yes then it's the i a bigger seller than the xl for you i have yet to sell an xl everybody really? goes for the 360i Wow. They like the lightweight yeah. and the uh, multitude of different heads that you can get for it, just like mm -hmm. the RX-20. Well, so I know the... always had good success with the 360i. That's amazing. I haven't sold an XL. No. Once you get used to it, there's kind of no going back. It just feels like a... A little extra weight is nice for the restoration. Yeah, I think, it, I think it cleans better and it just has more authority and... Yeah. Uh, more power behind it. But yeah. yeah. My customers love the 360i. Yeah, there's something to be said about being able to grab it with one hand, which you certainly yeah. can. 39 pounds is yeah. easier than 50 to 70 pounds. Yeah, <laughs> it's, it's more like 70, I believe. And how's the portable market out here for you? It's not too bad. Yeah. The high-rise is downtown. You can't get to with truck mounts, um, some commercial buildings, so we do sell a good number of portables every year. And that's your top seller, the Nautilus, Nautilus line? The MX3 200H is by far the best-selling portable. MX3 200H. And that's what uh, two two stage vacs, two three stage vacs two, three. with a heater and two hundred psi. And it sounds like a good balance. So how many cords is that? Just two. Two cords, two cords with the breaker buddy installed in it, so you can tell right away whether you're on, on separate circuits or not. The breaker buddy's a light that's on the panel, or a little light down on the bottom here, a little green light. When you're on separate circuits, the light comes on, indicating you're good to go. So it's kind of a handy little feature. Yeah. Fairly accurate? I would Pretty think accurate, so. yeah. Yeah. You'll know quickly if it's not, huh? Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't see uh, any Brush Pros or Cymexes or any VLM Brush Pro, equipment here. Brush Pro, I just here. sold a couple weeks ago. I haven't brought a new one in yet. Uh -huh. Cymex, I am not a distributor for, so I've never carried one. Gotcha. But I've had more interest in the Brush Pros than the Cymexes, so that's why we've always carried this, the Brush Pro. And then what about just a standard uh, 175 machine? We have access to the Versa Pro, but they don't sell very well. There are Versa Pro, that is Interlink. Interlink's yes. line. So the the bulk of the cleaners around here, they are pre-scrubbing with what? Carpet rake. Carpet rake. <laughs> 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 now a lot of our customers use the Rotovac or the RX24. When things get bad. When things are real bad. Yeah. But with the advancements in chemicals, it does most of your work. So. Yeah. 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 Yeah, here's one of the best things Interlink sells, this dang wrench that they don't seem to uh, publicize too much, but boy, once you got one of these, yeah. You gotta clean your jets, take them out, yeah. swap them out. 
Especially for the uh, the tile tools where it's so hard to get in there. Yes. Can we take a little peek at your uh, maintenance bay there? Sure. I'll show you the classroom maintenance bay. No, oh, geez, you do got a lot of chemical, chemical. storage. Oh, nice All belts. All belts around the top. As you can see, I just got my own shipment. Yeah. Ten minutes before you got here, so I haven't had a chance to put it away yet. So I saw you had some of the famous Flex Ice in there. Is that had a reaction yet? That is a necessity, and it's been very well received. Yeah. It's a great cleaner, minimal odor, and pretty cost effective. I heard it smells like curry. What do you think? I can <laughs> prove you wrong right up front. You got to think that was the house they were cleaning in. Huh? Yeah. I yeah. mean, I've heard curry, I've heard vinegar, I've heard absolutely vinegar. no odor, and to me, doesn't oh, smell bad at all. Yeah, if you stick your nose in there, there's something, but yeah. it's certainly not. Pretty much every chemical you use is going to have some kind of odor. Yeah, it's got to have something, but once it's diluted and coming out of the wand, I, I can't smell a thing. You said we've been pretty busy, so the repair shop's kind of a little bit of a mess right now. Uh, I wouldn't call it that. It's one of the cleanest shops I've seen. <laughs> I've been in a few. Yeah, it's nice and organized. This is where all of our magic happens. That's your dad over there and your head mechanic. Yep. Dad and Tom are Working on a legend, like you said, top seller. Top seller has been for years. We've got our own little fabrication area over here. Some Belfort action going on. Yeah, what is that? Just a giant dehu or something? EB 1400. Good Lord, look at the size of that thing. What'd you call it? Fire loss? Enviro Boss 1400. Wow. It's a heating and cooling system that. Dry ease no longer makes. So. Dry ease no longer makes? Yes. Oh, that's a dry ease product, but yes. Belfort's got their name on it? Yes. Hmm. And I'll show you in the classroom how much Belfort stuff we have been working on.